about this so empty I was doing that whole when you pull it out and you trying to get as much product as you can and you slapping it on your hands and then applying it to your body Welcome and a welcome back to my channel. My name is Nay Penda and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys all of the products that I have been in love with for the month of November These are the products that I kept using in my skincare routine my body care routine my makeup routine the fragrances I have been spraying a little bit too much. Okay, so if you're interested make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe back to my channel Today's day six of vlogmas. I am going to be putting out videos every day for the rest of this month so definitely make sure you go ahead and keep on coming back all right let's go ahead and get into the video all right guys so we're gonna get started with the makeup category first because before everything else i'm a makeup girl i'm a makeup girl and when it comes to me being a makeup girl i'm even more so a foundation girl so we're gonna get started with the foundation category now i told y'all this is my favorite video which means what they get used consistently almost every day therefore they look like they are used every single day i could not find a makeup wipe for the life of me so these look like they're my favorites we're just gonna get that out the way now so the first foundation that i have been loving is this huda beauty foundation stick i specifically use the shades lava cake and ganache they are the two darkest shades in the line and if you actually watch my chit chat get ready with me video I'm going to be using the foundation in that video as well as in the vlog that I watched or not watched the vlog that I posted yesterday you see me wearing this foundation as well it is so so good I have not been able to put it down what I love is that it literally just looks like skin the thing about me when it comes to my makeup I'm not super dramatic with it for the most part I like an everyday wearable look but I just want it to be beat like you need to know my face is done unless I'm going for the no makeup makeup look but if I put on makeup, you need to see that I put on makeup. And I need it to last so that as many people that see me that day can see that I put on makeup. So this foundation stick definitely gives me that. It gives me skin-like. It gives me comfortability. It has an amazing range. It wears well. Even when you wear your mask and you've had it on for hours, it still looks good. And I love that. Now, on the days in which I shoot content, I need something that's more full coverage. I need something that's really going to hold up. Like something that I don't want to transfer too much of the mask. I'm going to go with the Huda Beauty Liquid Foundation. Now, in this foundation, I am again in the shade Lava Cake and Ganache. And what I really love is that if you are one shade in one of their products, it just follows consistently. I mean, I think they only have, no, because they also have the tinted product, the Glowish. But I do like that in the foundation stick and in the foundation, I am the same shade. So that it was just easy for me to grab and go. Now, I don't have a concealer to share with you because I feel like the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer has been my favorite for the last two or three years. I actually have a video where I tried the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealers and they are my go-to. But contour product, if you are a deep, dark person, deep, dark skin, if you work on deep, dark clients as a makeup artist, you need to get the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Caviar. This foundation stick or this matchstick is one of the deepest shades I have seen. When it comes to me doing my makeup, I always reach for it just because I know it's going to work. Like there's just those days where I don't need the hassle. I don't need the extraness. I just need to grab something that I know is going to work and that one always gets it done for me. Um, next up, I'm going to go into some eyebrow products and the two eyebrow products that I have been loving and going back and forth for between the month of November is the Kosas Brow Pop and the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil. So when I want to go for an everyday brow look, something that I can just put on and go, fill in my brow hairs, not have them be super sparse, I go with the Kosas Brow Pop. And when I want something that's going to be more defined, a little bit sharper, I go in with the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow. Now as far as eyeliners, if you are not new here, then you know that I have loved the Marc Jacobs Black Her Eyeliner for years. I don't know what they got on. I don't know what happened to them. I just remember they were consistently on sale at Sephora. And then all of a sudden, when I went to go and try and look for the eyeliner, they were not available. So who knows what's happening with Marc Jacobs Beauty. But what I can tell you is that an amazing secondary product that I have been in love with and I have used multiple times are the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencils. I use the black gel liner and then I use the purple that I have been in love with. I'm going to link them down below as well. Now, if you are someone when it comes to eyeshadows that you don't want something, you don't want to do too much work, right? Like you just want something that you can put on, know it's going to stay on and go 
you need to try the Bobbi Brown Cosmetics Cream Eyeshadow Sticks. Let me tell you, if you are a no makeup makeup girl, if you are a five minute makeup girl, if you are a, I do not need an eyeshadow palette, I don't want an eyeshadow palette because you gotta use brushes, you gotta do too much, you need this cream eyeshadow stick. It gives me the same effect as when you take your bronzer and you literally just apply it as your eyeshadow and go. That's what this effect gives me. Now for eyeliner, I have loved before November the Patrick Star One Size Liner. So I'm going to link that down below just because it is definitely a favorite. It's just not necessarily a product that I've been picking up specifically in November. Um, but the one that I have is the House Laboratories Eyeliner. I love the House Labs Eyeliner because it is a super fine point. And honestly, it's also thin. So when I want to like have eyeliner but not have it do too much, I can go in with it. When I want to build it up and actually have it do too much, I can go in with it. The Kosas Mascara, let me tell you something. She is the one, not the two, period. Like, I have baby lashes. It takes everything for my lashes to actually do anything. And this one turns my baby lashes into teenagers, okay? They be full-fledged teenagers, adolescents, all of that. The next product is going to be the Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder in the shade 5. Y'all, I have completely finished it. It is actually also a product empty, but that setting powder is so good. If you are someone that has dry skin and you don't like standard face powders because they are too drying on you and they just don't make your skin feel good, you need to check out this setting powder. And even if you have oily skin but you like your skin to look like skin, it is beautiful. It's actually not the one I'm wearing now, so I don't know why I did that turn as if this was the example because it's not um but that product is empty i have literally used it every single day in november almost every single day it is so good the next product is going to be the morena beauté blush and cardinal y'all first of all i'm sorry now it's sold out but you can check out the other shades but when i tell you this blush is everything it is one of the only blushes that i have hit pan on because I just can't stop going back to it. It's like, if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know what I mean? Like, it is the most beautiful blush, and I'm actually wearing it right now. Word in my chit chat, get ready with me. It is the perfect blend of like a berry, but also a rose. And there's not many blushes that look like this for deeper skin tones, and it's just so good. Next is going to be the Lily Lashes in the Style Mykonos. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but. This lash, I feel like, was popularized for so long, and I just was never that girl that got into the hype. I was just like, I'm not spinning out on lashes when I can get my lashes from AliExpress. Like, I just was not doing it. And during the Sephora VIB sale, I don't want to say this sale, but the one previous, I went ahead and I picked it up in y'all. Sephora's having a sale right now, actually, from December 3rd to the 12th. I'm racking up on these lashes. They are so good. They're literally one of my new favorites. They're just so fluffy. You can wear them over and over and over again. The quality. Next, I'm going to go into lip products before we end off with um, setting sprays in the beauty category. Now, the beauty lipsticks or the, the lip products I have been loving for the last month, honestly, are the Fenty Beauty Lip Creams. I currently have on a mix of Honey Waffles and Cookie Jar with the Dose of Colors X Nima Tang Lip Liner, which is another favorite of this month. Between the formula, the shades, the way that they wear, I just love the lip creams. And then one other lip product that I would mention that's more like a skincare lip product is the Laneige Lip Balm. It's crusty lip season, don't get caught slipping. That's all I'm gonna say. It's crusty lip season. Don't get quit slipping. Get you a good lip balm. The Laneige one is balm and you won't regret it. It is so good, so hydrating. Get the lip sleeping mask if you know that you have really, really, really dry lips and you need something that's gonna give you ultimate hydration. I use that as well and I don't wear it just to go to sleep. I wear it during the day, okay? It's a lip slipping mask, but you can wear it during the day as you're awake as well. Don't let the name confuse you or fool you. And then the last two products are going to be setting sprays. One is like an OD, that's like an OG fave that I just honestly forgot about. And it is the MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus setting spray. I love using that setting spray as almost like my first step to my setting of my skin. I go back in with the final sealing setting spray, which is, which is the Charlotte Tilbury one. This one is more of a newer use. It's something I started to use towards the end of November, but y'all, it is bomb. Like, I just feel like it helps to set my face even more. And especially because I know I keep mentioning like masks, and honestly, I know that there's a lot of people that aren't wearing masks when they go out. I'm still wearing a mask, so when it comes to my makeup, I'm still looking for products that are going to help me 
keep my makeup set and I feel like when I use the airbrush flawless finish setting spray it does just that like it helps to set it in the fix plus helps to melt it so that my skin looks like skin and then the airbrush setting spray helps to set it so that it stays looking like skin that is going to be everything that I have for the beauty category and next we're going to move into the skincare now I am someone who I always preach that a lot of skincare is also based on genetic factors, it's based on your hormones, like skincare is not a one size fits all for everybody. What's going to work for me may not work for you, what will work for someone else will not work for me, that's just what it is. If you are watching this, just know that I have sensitive skin, um, but also genetically I don't typically struggle with acne. I do have, however, hormonal breakouts and I do have a lot of texture breakouts, a lot of contact dermatitis based on the fact that I do stress my skin sometimes because I have to try so many new products. So in these categories that I'm sharing specifically for the face products, these are what I use during the month of November because November I would say is one of the hardest months that my skin went through. Um, Q4 is a season where a lot of influencers get a lot of sponsorships and before I accept any sponsorship, before I move forward with any sponsorship, I always have to test the products first and there were a few products that broke me out and so as a result of that, of course, I denied the partnership but also my skin had to deal with the results of that. So one face wash that I have completely gone through, like I am done with it, I need to get a new one, is this is the Caudalie Vino Pure Cleanser. Now, what I'm looking for in my cleanser, specifically in November, was salicylic acid because salicylic acid helps with texture. So I love this cleanser. I used it every day, twice a day, until I ran through it, just to be completely honest with you. It was great. I had no issues with it. I feel like it definitely did its job of helping. It was gentle. It did everything. Now, once I ran out of that, I wanted to test a similar product that was more affordable in case you are someone that is on a budget. Um, because I went in with my skincare routine in November knowing that I wanted to share products eventually with people that would help them to get rid of texture. So the cleanser that I think you should absolutely get if you cannot get the Caudalie Vino Pure one is this one from CeraVe. This is the CeraVe Renewing SA Cleanser. I feel like I see a lot of people recommend the green one, but if you have texture and you're trying to get rid of texture, this is the one that you need to get because it also has salicylic acid. I'm not gonna lie to you, it does have a little smell that I do not like. There's a smell with this that I do not like, but it's well worth it because it's less than $10. You can get it from Target, you can get it online, it will come to you, it works. Like when it comes to skincare products, I just need stuff that's gonna work, and this, it works. Besides just cleansing my skin during the month of November in order for it to heal, I also toned my skin. Now, one toner that I use is a chemical exfoliant, and I wanna tell y'all that because I use it so consistently, I actually started to break out more but I still recommend this because when I was using it, it definitely did a huge difference to my skin. And I feel like with this, this is one of the pro those products that as someone with sensitive skin, I need to be careful of. I need to use once a week. I need to not use it every single day because my skin just can't handle it. But my skin does like it, just not in excess. And that product is the Paula's Choice BHA, the 2% BHA toner. This is actually a newer bottle because I finished up the old one and I made sure that I have my backup. Now, as far as the toner that I love that I started to use after I was no longer using the Polar's Choice BHA cleanser, I felt like my moisture barrier was damaged just as a result of the dermatitis and my skin just being inflamed. So I needed a toner that was going to be more hydrating and I knew, I knew I had to go back to an Old Faithful and that is the Fresh Hydrating Rose Toner. I have loved this for years and pulling it back out in November was like a great decision because it really did help to calm my skin. These next three products, I feel like I'm saying this for every product. This is a, this is a favorite. So let me stop acting like one is going to be better than the other. I love all of these. These next two products, there are two serums. The first one, the Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This is the Plump Plump Serum and as you guys can see, I'm halfway through the bottle. And then the second one is the Glow Recipe Ceramide, the Avocado Ceramide. I use the Hyaluronic Acid Serum typically during the day and I use the Ceramides typically during the night. Y'all, these serums are amazing. A1. The Hyaluronic Acid Serum is going to help to add that moisture. It's going to help to add hydration to your skin. It's going to help to just like calm everything down. Whereas the Ceramides for me, um, I use them, they say that like, if you have redness, or if you're someone that struggles with redness and you are fairer skin, then it would be good for you. But what I like this for, in general, my skin loves ceramides. Any products that I use that have ceramides in it typically do well on my skin. 
I feel like the ceramide uh, serum helps to add hydration to my skin, but I also feel like it helps to calm down my skin. Like anytime I have had a hormone breakout and I have used this in the night when I wake up the next day, I feel like my texture, my breakout is a little bit smaller, especially in the morning. So I just love using that. And then the moisturizer that I use for the most part, almost every day in November, not every day, but almost every day, Ren Moisturizer. Now why I like this is because no matter what serums or anything that I applied on, this is more of a neutral product. It's for sensitive skin. It helps to calm irritation and pretty much just like inflamed skin. And I want y'all to see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's how much of this product I have used. It is so good and honestly when I first tried it, I wasn't in love with it because I didn't love the smell as much. But as I continue to use it, what I realized is that I can count on this to not add any additional harm, any additional irritation to my skincare products. So this is like a good solid base when it comes to a moisturizer. 10 out of 10 recommend. The next category of products that we're going to talk about is body care. If you guys have not seen my Sephora VIB sale haul, I will include it here. But one of the products that I picked up was the... Necessaire body wash and eucalyptus. I officially love this body wash and I'm so mad I love it because it's $25. Like, I don't know about y'all, but whenever I buy products and they're super expensive, low key, and I can't remember who I saw say this in a video, I think it was Jamima. Um, but it's almost like when you buy a product that's super expensive, you almost don't want to like it because it's like I don't want to get used to having to rebuy you. But now I'm used to it and I have to rebuy it because it is that good. I feel like my skin feels so hydrated. It feels so clean. And one of my favorite cleansers before was the Pure Castile Soap. But then I saw a video on TikTok that basically said that like that soap needs to be diluted a lot. And I feel like if you're like me, you didn't dilute it. You just used it out the bottle, put it on your skin because it, get, it gets you really, really clean. But what she was saying is that that eventually strips your body of its natural oils and it can be harmful to your skin because of how strong it is. And I really had to think about that because I didn't just use the pure castor soap on my body. Like whenever I needed to mop the floors, I would take a little bit of it and put it in like um, the, the bucket that I would use to mop because it said that it can be used for so many things. But it's just like you have to really think about it. If it's so strong that it can be used as a cleaning product and you're putting it on your body without diluting it, I needed a change and I feel like I can honestly say I see a difference in my skin ever since I started to use the Necessaire Body Wash and just also in general I want to focus more on products specifically with body care skincare that are better for my skin that don't have harsh chemicals because those chemicals being added to your body every single day can be detrimental long term for your health and if you watched my um life update video then you know that health is something that I'm really trying to focus on so I just love that this body wash makes me feel good, it smells good, and I personally mentally feel good using it because I know that it is good for my body. Um, to follow up, whenever I'm in the shower, I use the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I get super dry in the winter and so using that body conditioner as a follow up to whatever face wash not face wash, to, as a follow up to whatever body wash I use is really, really helpful. It just makes me feel like a baby. I feel like I have baby soft skin. And I know that I do because people always comment on my skin being baby soft and that definitely is to help. Another product that has quickly become a fave is the Necessaire Deodorant. I have mine in the scent Eucalyptus as well. I love this deodorant because it makes me smell fresh all day. Also, what I will say is that it doesn't have aluminum, and I feel like a lot of deodorants that don't have aluminum, I told you guys the native one, didn't really react well with my body. It didn't really hold up. I loved the Schmitz one, but I feel like this one is, you know, a little bit more elevated, but it just makes me feel good, and I, I just really have been enjoying it, so it's one of my favorites. And then as far as body products that I actually put on for the lotion or to hydrate my skin after I'm done all of that, I use an oil after I get out the shower, and I know that you should be using an oil after the moisturizer, but I'm gonna just tell y'all right now, sometimes I'm lazy. And because sometimes I'm lazy, like when I get out the shower, I'm tired, if I wanna go to sleep, I need to like put something on so that I can then go to sleep. And on those days where I don't wanna do anything, and I know I gotta put something on, I go in with the Osea body oil, and I specifically go in with this when I'm like out the shower, skin is still damp, I just apply it on and then if I'm feeling too, too lazy to do anything else, I can go to sleep knowing that I got some type of hydration on my skin and I'm not going to wake up super ashy or with scales on my legs as a result of not hydrating my skin. On a good day or during the day, I would say when I take my showers in the morning, the lotion that I have been loving in November, like my November favorite, I'm completely 
emptied on this one. I went to Target and picked up a second one. It is the La Roche Posay Lippy Car Balm AP Plus Intense Repair Moisturizing Cream. That was a mouthful. I'm talking about this so empty. I was doing that whole when you pull it out and you're trying to get as much product as you can and you slapping it on your hands and then applying it to your body. That's what I did with this lotion because I was just like, I can't believe I'm out. I use this lotion every day. Every day in November, I use this lotion in the, in the morning particularly. I love this lotion and when I wear it the next day or if I shower in the night that same day, I just feel my body is hydrated. I feel the hydration on my skin. Like when the water touches my skin, I feel the conditioning of my skin. I don't know how else to explain it. If there's anything you get today, let it be this body lotion. Let it be this body lotion. It is so good. And then another product that I actually don't have in my hand but that I love as well is a body butter. I have been loving the 54 Thrones body butter. I'm going to actually insert a picture of it here. And I'm so excited because they actually just came out with a jumbo size of it as well. The last category is going to be fragrance. And I feel like if you watch my winter fragrance recommendation, you probably know what I'm going to say. But y'all, the Fenty Beauty fragrance. The one and not the two. Top two and it's not two. Now, almost everyone that I know that has smelled it loves it, but I do have my overmate who when she smelled it, she was like, it's not given. It reminds her too much of incense. But in my winter fragrance routine, I literally said it reminds me of someone who's like in Harlem, black queen, faux locks or locks in her hair, hydrated and oils up with her, sh her shea butter, her African butter, she has her oils and then she sprays this on as the added touch. That is the scent that it gives me. It gives me just the vibe of just like, black beauty golden beauty like i don't know what it is but it just smells so good to me and i definitely recommend it the next scent is going to be by the fireplace by mason margella to me again this reminds me of more like coffee but it's definitely a warm woodsy scent and because it's the winter or right now it's the fall we're going into winter technically new york is really giving winter with the way that it's been cold um but I love this fragrance just when I want to go out. I don't know. I think with the change of seasons, I just wanted to feel like it was fall. I wanted to feel like it was winter. And this fragrance is that. And then the last fragrance is the YSL Libre Intense. If you want a perfect combo of something that is warm but also sweet and it's fall and it's winter, it's YSL Libre Intense. It is so good to me. It just, it gives me the balance of what I like. And what I also realized after I did my fragrance video is that I like fragrances that have vanilla in them. And I think this has vanilla in it as a base note, if I'm not mistaken, if I am, my bad. Y'all know I'm not a kind of store of perfumes. I'm not a perfumista. I just like to smell good. Um, but I really, really love this. It's the perfect balance for me. Um, and I think that if you're someone that's looking for a balanced scent that's perfect for the winter, you will love the YSL Libre Intense. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. We are doing vlogs, like I said. I'll be here every day for the month of December, bringing you beauty content, plus size fashion content, lifestyle content with my vlogs. If you're interested in any of those things, definitely make sure you go ahead and come back. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.